if it's a very large multinational, it's very easy for them to access any marketplace, let alone India. If they go into um, China or Brazil, they have the political cloud, they have the economic cloud to go in and you know find a place for themselves. Now, my answer is basically looking at the SMEs. Now, these are people who have got a niche for themselves and they want to access a new marketplace. For these kind of companies, I think, you know, it is absolutely essential that they do their homework before they approach the Indian market. It is very, very necessary for them to understand the landscape. I think for companies who are looking at India as a destination, uh, financing obviously is important for any business. I mean, without the finance, you can't approach any market. If you are, say, an exporter from the UK, then it's absolutely essential for you to find the right person you are exporting to in India, okay? And you must make sure that, you know, you, whatever you export to them gets paid. And therefore, you know, that due diligence, which I mentioned earlier, is absolutely essential. Now, if you have got aspirations of going into, you know, um, having your own presence in India, and, you know, you've created a market for your products, then it is, uh, therefore, even more important for you to understand where should you set up your manufacturing? What are the local regulations? Who should you be making a partner if you need to make a partner? What kind of distribution channels are available to you? You need to do this as part of your due diligence process. And once you are convinced that you know you've got the right partner, you understand the landscape, you understand the geography, you feel that you can understand you know the regulatory environment that's the time you put together a business plan you put together a business plan and then go and speak to your bankers because at the end of it you know they are they have to be convinced that you know your business plan works and that you know they are willing to to fund your uh, your operations in india now having done that and you know submitted your business plans it is much better for the businesses to work with their domestic partners i.e bankers in the uk if they have and if they are lucky, the UK bank might even have, you know, a, a branch network in India to work with them to see what kind of funding they can arrange uh, overseas or through their counterparts in India for a bank which has a presence in India as well, how they can have the dialogue commenced. Because if you walk into another, into any bank in India, uh, cold, they are not going to be, you know, giving you um, uh, any funding that easily. They are going to have to then do their due diligence and due process on your company. So I would always suggest to businesses, work with your local partners. Come and talk to the UK IBC. You talk to the UK trade and industries, talk to the banks that you have got, especially banks who have got operations in India. And I can tell you, HSBC has been in India since 18, 1853. We, How many branches do you have? We, we operate in 27 cities. We operate in the tier 1 and tier 2 cities. So we are in all the major states where growth is happening. Come and talk to us.